For over 4,000 years, its symbols have stared back at us from crumbling stone and baked clay. Thousands of signs, etched, stamped, carved, left behind by one of the world's most mysterious civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization, older than Greece, as vast as Mesopotamia. Yet, unlike its ancient cousins, it left no Rosetta Stone, no bilingual clues, just rows of cryptic marks, an undeciphered language lost to time. For centuries, scholars tried to break its code. Linguists, cryptographers, even military codebreakers all failed. No one could read the Indus script. Was it a language at all? Or something else entirely? Then, in 2025, everything changed. An experimental AI, trained on millions of linguistic patterns, did what humans couldn't. It found structure, meaning grammar. Suddenly, dead symbols began to whisper. What secrets lay hidden in those ancient texts? What did the Indus people want us to know or to forget? And how could artificial intelligence succeed where millennia of human effort failed? The answer, as experts soon discovered, was more disturbing than they ever imagined. Between 2600 and 1900 BCE, a vast civilization flourished along the river plains of what is now Pakistan and northwest India. The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, spanned over 1.25 million square kilometers, housing more than 5 million people at its peak. They built cities with plumbing systems, grid streets, and advanced architecture long before Rome or Athens ever rose. But while their cities were meticulously planned, their history remains fractured. No kings, no temples, no tombs with golden masks. Only countless seals, pottery fragments, and tablets bearing strange, compact inscriptions. The Indus script. These symbols, over 4,000 inscriptions discovered, appear on everything from trade seals to personal items. Yet not one has ever been definitively read. No living language is known to descend from it. No decipherable alphabet. No accompanying translations. Unlike Egyptian hieroglyphs, we have no multilingual key. The language behind the script vanished, swallowed by time. And so the question persisted for generations. What language did the Indus people speak? Was it a linguistic orphan? Or a coded message lost to history? It started with a seal. Just one among thousands. Found in 2023 during a dig near Dolavira, an ancient city of the Indus Valley, now buried under centuries of desert dust. The artifact was small, square, and made of steatite. At first glance, it looked no different from the others. A horned animal, a row of symbols. But this one had a pattern. A young data scientist from Mumbai, visiting the site with a research team, noticed something odd in the symbol spacing. It wasn't random. It looked computational. She photographed the seal and fed it into an experimental AI model developed to detect structural patterns in ancient texts, a tool originally built for decoding forgotten dialects in Dead Sea Scroll fragments. What the AI found stunned her. The sequence of characters wasn't arbitrary. It followed rules, frequency distributions, positional constraints, even repetition patterns consistent with natural language syntax. The seal was not art. It was writing. This single discovery triggered a cascade. Could thousands of unreadable inscriptions suddenly become readable? Was this seal the first real crack in the Indus code? Once the AI flagged a possible linguistic pattern, an elite team was assembled. Linguists, archaeologists, and computer scientists from around the world converged on a single mission, decipher the Indus script. The data was fed into a next-gen AI model known as Pratyaksha, designed not just to identify patterns, 
but to simulate ancient human cognition. Its neural architecture mimicked the way language evolves over generations. The team compiled all known inscriptions, every seal, tablet, and fragment ever recovered, scanning, cataloging, and vectorizing the symbols. They created a database of over 25,000 symbol occurrences. But the biggest challenge? Context. There were no sentences, no known spoken equivalent, no culture still alive to explain the script. To overcome this, they turned to computational translation modeling, feeding Pratyaksha data from hundreds of ancient and modern languages, Sumerian, Elamite, Tamil, Sanskrit, even Proto-Dravidian roots. The AI wasn't guessing, it was reconstructing, testing hypotheses at the speed of thought. Still, there were critics. Some called it digital speculation. Others warned it could produce convincing nonsense. Yet, the model began to output phrases, repeatable, testable, patterns that made sense across different inscriptions. But was it real language? Or just algorithmic coincidence? The breakthrough came not from the AI alone, but from an ancient shard found deep beneath the ruins of Mohenjo-daro. It bore an inscription nearly identical to one decoded by Pratyaksha. But this time, next to the symbols, archaeologists discovered something previously overlooked. A tiny pictogram, a sketch of a harvest scene with grain sacks and what appeared to be numerical markings. Cross-referencing this with the AI's output, researchers were stunned. The translated text read, Fifth Moon Harvest. 47 sacks of barley stored in granary. The iconography matched the translation perfectly. It wasn't coincidence, it was communication. To validate the finding, the team ran a blind test. They fed the AI-100 unknown inscriptions. No context, no translation hints. In over 80% of the cases, the AI's interpretations aligned with archaeological data matching trade goods, seasonal references, and urban planning markers from known excavation sites. But the real bombshell came when they identified a recurring term across multiple seals, a word the AI consistently translated as ruler, linked to specific symbols, always associated with larger cities and high-value artifacts. The Indus people, long thought to lack centralized authority, suddenly had a lexicon for power, economy, and governance. After millennia of silence, their words had finally spoken. And what they said? Rewrote everything. Piece by piece, the AI reconstructed a lost world. Through thousands of translated inscriptions, a picture began to emerge of a society more organized, more literate, and far more complex than anyone had dared to imagine. The Indus Valley wasn't a loose collection of farming towns. It was a networked civilization with administrative systems, trade records, and a symbolic language used across an entire subcontinent. Seals once seen as decorative now revealed tax ledgers, merchant credentials, and records of seasonal yields. Phrases like grain delivered, west dock inventory, and priest of the sun appeared repeatedly. The language was logographic with phonetic elements, much like early Chinese script, and the AI confirmed regional dialects, suggesting a multilingual empire under a unified writing system. Their urban centers weren't just marvels of plumbing and symmetry, they were hubs of bureaucratic precision. Some seals referenced laws, others public announcements. One even translated to what appeared to be a form of poetic praise for the moon goddess. But the most haunting revelation came from a cluster of inscriptions found near the edge of the abandoned city of Kalibangan. The AI's translation, Waters fall, fire comes, leave quickly. A warning? A prophecy? It aligned eerily with archaeological evidence of catastrophic flooding and fire in the city's final days. The Indus people had not simply vanished. They had tried to warn the future. 
but no one could read their words until now. The deciphering of the Indus script is more than an archaeological victory. It's a resurrection. A civilization long muted by time has found its voice again, not through tombs or monuments, but through language pulled from silence by circuits and code. Artificial intelligence, once feared as the end of history, has become its most powerful translator. What the Indus people left behind wasn't just writing. It was memory, law, faith, trade, warnings, poetry, a mirror into a world that once rivaled Egypt and Mesopotamia, but vanished without legacy until now. And yet, this is only the beginning. Thousands of inscriptions remain. New ones are being uncovered every year. What else lies hidden in their syntax? Forgotten gods? Lost cities? Ancient science? Or messages meant for us? Their future? The AI keeps learning. And with each symbol it decodes, the line between past and present dissolves. The dead speak. The future listens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more stories where science meets mystery. Dive deeper into ancient enigmas, technological revelations, and the hidden forces that shape our world. Because the next great discovery could already be buried beneath your feet.